In this video, we're going to be looking at how to build models for MIGen. Now, the easiest way to do this is probably through the Mass Interaction Model Scripter tool that we have, and that's available through the MI Creative website. You can find it in the tool section or on the main page of the website. So what we want to do is to head over to the GitHub page and actually get the sources. Now, MIMS is a Python application which uses PyQt5. The README gives info about how the tool works and how you can build it, and we're going to walk through that process together. First of all, we want to download the sources. Then we unzip them, and here is the directory. Now, before we can actually run MIMS, we need to make sure we have the correct version of Python and a couple of libraries. The first thing to check is the version of Python that you're using. I'm running Python 3.7.2, but hopefully any Python 3 version should work. The next step is to check the installed libraries with pip, and the two packages we need are numpy and pyqt5. If you don't have these, you can just run pip install numpy or pip install pyqt5. Now with this done, we should be able to launch MIMS, and this is what it looks like. MIMS basically uses a scripting language uh, to build physical models. So for instance, we can create a mass as follows. If we click on it, we can actually see a small help window, which gives us the parameters that it expects. We can add a fixed point and then maybe a dampened spring, which will connect this fixed point to the first mass. I won't go into what the physical parameters mean just yet, uh, but I will do later on. So now we have this basic oscillator, we can set up some inputs and outputs. First of all, I'm going to create a force input on the mass. And then I'm going to choose that I want to listen to this mass's position on the first output. So there we have it, a very basic model, and I can compile this into GenCode. So I'll call it oscillator. And when I compile this, it creates a GenDSP file called oscillator.gendsp. So now we have this, we want to create a max patch in which we can use this gen object. So first thing is to save the patch in the same location as the GenDSP file. This should guarantee that we can find the gen object when we reference it. And it seems like we're okay. So this is the code that's been generated by MIMS. So all we need to do now is set up an input for the model. So I'm gonna use the click object to send force impulses to it. And I need to decide what to do with the output. So I'm gonna check its value with a number box and I'm just gonna send it to a DAC object so that we can actually hear what's going on. And so let's try. Yep, seems like it works.